Hello everyone and welcome to my bar. My name is Ansel Birch, the Indecisionist, and I will be your dungeon barkeep today. Now, I am no expert mixologist, but like anyone tending bar this side of the Goblin Warrens, I have an adventurous spirit and a willingness to try just about anything once. So, you may want a cocktail and I'd like to give you one, but uh, we may just have to work with whatever I'm able to hand you. What do you say? Would you like to try something chosen entirely by fate using the roll of some gaming dice and whatever I happen to have down here at the bar? Yeah? Great. Well, then you're just my sort of adventurer. Let's go ahead and see what we can mix up. All right, so we're going to start off with a D4, and that's going to choose an essential mixer. So that's a three. We're getting vermouth in this one. Yeah, we haven't gotten vermouth in an age. I'm really excited to finally get some vermouth back in. All right, next up is a D6 for our garnish. And there we go. Bitters. Vermouth and bitters. We are on our way to an actual thing that somebody might drink on purpose. All right, let's let's uh, let's see what our next mixer is going to be. These are the less essential mixers with a D8. Ooh, as it bounces out of the tray. These are the less essential mixers with a D8. Six. Okay, soda water. Soda water, vermouth, and bitters. All right, um, you know, let's, uh, let's bear with it. Who knows? Maybe this will be, maybe this will be great. Uh, all right, next up is a D10 for the star of the show, our liquor. Two. All right, two on the liquors chart is rum. Rum, vermouth, and bitters with soda water. Okay. Okay. It's, it's definitely something I've never heard of before. I'll say that. Without question, I've never had anything that, that I, I think would match that description. So here we go. All right. Next up, we're going to do a little edutainment moment. We're going to talk about a bar term today. So today's bar term chosen by a D12 is dash. Okay, and that's perfect because we're putting bitters into, into today's cocktail. Uh, a dash is one of the smallest units of measure available in the barkeep's lexicon. Um, it's smaller than a bar spoonful. It's um, significantly less than like uh, a quarter ounce. Uh, it's just the amount that like splooshes out of uh, out of your uh, dasher bottle, which is what the ones with the little, the small hole on the top, uh, are called. Um, but you can do a dash by just sort of like tipping the edge of the bottle and seeing what pops out. It's, it's supposed to be a very small and poorly measured amount. Uh, I'm sure there's like an actual measure assigned to it, but, um, I've never seen what that would be. Uh, so yeah. So let's go ahead and, uh, and put a dash of bitters into this cocktail. But the last thing we got to do is pick a name. So here we are. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a list of 20 uh, suggestions from across the internet. These 20 suggestions were uh, sent in uh, through my social media as well as on my website, which you can now use to submit ideas of your own. So if you head over to indecisionist.com slash dungeon barkeep, you can check, you can add your own names to this uh, potential list. There are hundreds on there and 20 are chosen at random. Uh, and these, these are the ones for right now. So let's go ahead and mix. Uh, let's go ahead and find out what today's is called. Do, 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 do. 17. Drink for initiative. All right. Drink for initiative. I wonder if this is going to give me initiative today. We'll find out. Let's flip over to the bar top cam and put this together. All right. So uh, let's see. This is a rum drink with vermouth. I don't see any reason why this needs to be shaken. So let's go ahead and serve this in a low ball. Get a few D6 of cold damage. There, vermouth. I think I'm going to follow the usual wisdom on vermouth and, and go light. So we'll just do a little over a half ounce of vermouth there. And then some rum. As per usual, you want to go heavy on the liquor. So we're going to go ahead and do two ounces of rum. Ooh. 
We're going to add the soda water after the fact, which means we just need a dash of bitters. And I have added Peychaud's to my mix, so that's what we're going to do today. Oop. I think I'm going to want two dashes, so we'll do another dash in there. All right. And it seems to me... Seems to me we're ready to finish this off. There we go. All right, so let's see how it tastes. Oh, it's very dry which I suppose shouldn't be surprising since we've the only sweetness we would get from this whole thing is from the rum. Uh, everything else is pretty dry. I use a dry vermouth. The soda water adds a certain amount of dryness to it. Um, you know, all of that is, is definitely coming together to um, keep it dry, make it, make it as dry as possible. Um, I think this is less of a drink that you drink um, as like the beginning of combat. You drink this before the beginning of combat because it gives you the initiative to go out and do stuff, to go out and, and slay the monster or do whatever the thing is. Uh, I think I think that's the kind of initiative this is. This is like a um, an adventurer's Red Bull. Uh, and so as a result, I think that I would have... Um, I would have this served in an adventure where we know we're about to fight something big. We know we're going to fight something scary. Maybe like the head of a, of a, a thieves guild or somebody equally like quick and, and scary and dangerous and uh, uh, like a thinking, sapient, strategic enemy. And, and I think we're going to serve this to the party before that so that they are steeled and ready for that uh, engagement. They're, they're prepared uh, for their run-in with this, this, again, this sapient prepared enemy. So I'm picturing, like, um, I, really do, I really do think, like, the, the head of the local Thieves Guild is the way to go. Somebody who's, you know, calculating and fast and, and ready for them and, and, uh, and, and you know, one of a strategic tactical mind. So that is the scenario that I would put this cocktail into. And uh, now that we've put it together and we know how it tastes, all that's left is for you to have one. What do you say? Do you want to try? Uh, do you want to try the this uh, this cocktail? Tell me how it is at home. Make one yourself and uh, and let me know how it goes. I I think that um, if you like dry cocktails the way that I like dry cocktails, this is a good one to go with. You might want to make uh, a couple edits, like add a little bit of simple syrup or um, maybe an even sweeter rum, like a darker rum, uh, a Kraken or something like that might be um, really, really fabulous in this. But until you try one yourself uh, and until next time, drink adventurously, friends.